Dave Briggs at Profile. Today we're uh, making 22 mil column six inch spindles and steel. Okay, this tool here is getting ready to face the part. This is the first operation. This squares up the face and gives it a nice finish as well as putting the chamfer on the end. This is our second operation. This is a spot drill, which will come up and put a divot right in the dead center of the face of the spindle. So when the longer drill comes in, it won't walk out and it makes the hole one center. And here we have our third operation. This is where the drill goes in and drills about 40% of the depth of the spindle. Here we have our fourth operation. This is where that first operation center drill is coming over and it's using the chamfer, the, the angle on it, to put the internal chamfer in the hole. Okay, this is step five. While not a true machining operation, we pull the spindle out and put a center in all automatically from the turret. Okay, this is operation number six. Sender has moved over into the spindle, support it, because it's so long. Our turning tool is now set, ready to turn this to its final diameter. Okay, now we're ready for op number seven. This is the hobbing operation. Still, center is still supporting. The hob is about to come down. Where it will be powered, turning, and everything will start hobbing across. And to clarify step seven, the hobbing, hobbing action is actually putting the splines on our spindles. 